here is our review of Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Now, this game was reviewed by our content writer Finn and reworked into this video by yours truly. Now, it's fair to say that Armored Core 5 and Verdict Day left a rather bitter taste in many fans' mouths, but Fires of Rubicon offers exactly what was needed to rejuvenate the series. The premise of Armored Core 6 will be well known to fans who have been following the game's progress. Corporate and rebellious native forces clash across titanic battlefields on the planet Rubicon for control of Coral. What is Coral? Well, it's a powerful substance with the potential in equal measure to further humanity or, you know, d destroy it. And you, a merc with a number for a name, are deployed by your handler to track down Coral on Rubicon and buy back your life, often at the expense of the lives of others. You know, just typical merc things. Within the game, you'll start out taking on odd jobs for corporations, but these will escalate rather quickly. One moment you're performing petty sabotage missions, the next you're part of an all-out assault against the Rubiconian Liberation Front, and you'll carry out these missions for every faction without mercy or compassion, as there is no room for either on Rubicon. Now, the world of AC6 isn't upheld by just the gold standard story alone. This is a From Software game after all, which means that the soundtrack and visuals fire on all cylinders, and they have somehow only improved upon the gorgeous spectacle that we were greeted with in Elden Ring. The soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. Boss fights are punctuated by distinct music, which borders on the alien or supernatural at the best of times, whilst quiet moments make room for somber, reflective tones reminiscent of For Answer. Every weapon discharge and HUD warning is electrifying and builds a grounded sensation of the levels that you are experiencing. AC6's mechanics are really where the game starts to shine through and fans will not be disappointed. There's a clear and expert understanding of what made these games great from the developers at FromSoft. You'll find the speed of AC4 and the challenges of Last Raven here, and things move quickly, but with modern game design. The ACs are more easier to handle than ever before, even on mouse and keyboard. Dodging, assault boosting, assault armor and flight all return to name just a few features and every one of them are well integrated into the core gameplay and this provides better flexibility than ever when playing. Just as important as mech building is mech fighting. That returns in top form too. You can choose your legs, arms, head, core, generator, right and left arm weapons, shoulder weapons, boosters, guide systems and you can even fine tune your operating system. Honestly, there's a whole bunch of customization here. Everything from reverse joint legs and treads to pile drivers and plasma rifles are unlockable and purchasable, giving you exceptional input in your overall build design. Design. It is a shame that this wasn't taken more ambitiously. While it might have been less ergonomic, having greater control over modification of components might have really made AC6's mech building stand out from the rest of the series, but that's not to say that we haven't enjoyed it nonetheless. So we gave this game an incredible score of 10 out of 10. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon is a masterful return to form for the series that incorporates the modern design philosophies of From Software. It's a dystopian world with a brutally gorgeous aesthetic and refined gameplay, elevated by exceptional boss battles. Any fan of the series, new or old, will definitely find something to love with this title.